We've been waiting for this moment for years, guys. The Halo TV show trailer has just gone live, and I want to give you my opinions and also breakdown of this trailer from a long time. Halo fans. So you want to know more? Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So my initial impression of this trailer that it looks pretty freaking awesome. I'm quite excited about this. Uh, it does look like they're doing Halo justice. Now we do know that this timeline is not part of like their traditional Halo lore. It's kind of creating its own thing, but I think that's probably a good thing. So then like the story doesn't get too convoluted with Halo's complicated lore for the most part. And from what we've seen right here, like Master Chief is in full force looking like a total badass, sounding like a total badass as well, and I'm crazy excited for it. So here I wanted to kind of do a quick breakdown of this trailer as well, to kind of give you guys what we found, and then afterwards give my opinions about the specific aspects of this trailer. We get a first glimpse of one of our main characters within the show. This is Quan Ah, played by the actor Yuren Ah, so don't get that confused right there. And she is an insurrectionist that looks like she'd be taken on by Master Chief and kind of follow him along his journey. Probably be more of the emotional kind of child kind of companion that we've seen like in shows like Terminator 2, right? And uh, kind of doing the same thing with like the more cold, stoic Master Chief. Here we get our first good look at Master Chief's face and guys, Chief right here is looking really freaking good. Next within the trailer, they showcase some of the early aspects of Spartans and how they were created. So I'm assuming that within the first few episodes of the show, they'll establish like what are Spartans, what was their purpose, how are they created, how are they captured and things like that. Because if you guys don't know about the lore that uh, children were actually captured, I believe at the age of like seven-ish or something like that, then were trained to be Spartans and went under augmentations, which we're kind of looking at right here, assuming that this is our boy John 117 Master Chief right here going through the augmentation process. We got a first look at Dr. Halsey right here, and if there was going to be a Dr. Halsey in a live action, it probably would look like this. Looks great. Next, we get a look at the supporting cast of Spartans with the Master Chief of K. Venic 134, as well as Riz 28. Here's our first look at the Elite. Looking pretty awesome. This shot's kind of interesting because it looks like we'll be doing with these action scenes, kind of like first person angle kind of action scenes, with maybe pulling from inspiration from the games, as well as you can kind of see the scale of these elites are proper scaled elites to the lore of Halo. So really great to see like the menacing size of these elites within the show. Here we see Master Chief coming across a early forerunner type of structure. He touches it because, well, humans are reclaimers. Active, obviously it's going to activate at that point. And uh, interesting thing about the graphics to kind of overlay on this device as well, we can see right here that there are some Forerunner symbols that are actually mean something within this whole thing as well. Because these symbols shown right here are actually reading as Bioscan. As confirmed by one of the heads of Halopedia, which is pretty much the number one source for all your Halo lore you want to search up. Also saying that they see the same thing within the Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary Terminal, which I love that little detail right there, quite awesome. So one of the leaked images I've seen of this trailer previously was that it's a series of asteroids that are all tied together by strings and things like that. They kind of hold it all together, create this bit of a city that we see right here, which has never really been part of the Halo lore or part of the Halo games at all. So this is a brand new location that we'll find, looks to be an abandoned Former Spartan Soren 066, showcase right here. I believe this is actually an image of Master Chief as a child when he was first grabbed by the UNSC to be part of the Spartan training program right here. As you can see, the flash happens with the character right here, right to Master Chief's face. So definitely the young version of the Master Chief. Here we finally get our first glimpse of Cortana, played by Jen Taylor, the actual voice actor of Cortana within the games. and. For my first impression, like it looks great. Don't get me wrong, it looks great, but I kind of just wish it was more true to the games because this is like a CGI render of a person, right? And rather than having to be a person, I'd prefer it to be like an actual like AI looking character like we've seen from Cortana in all the other Halo games. I feel like that was something to be doable. Though again, it's a TV show trying to get more of your casual audience involved with it. Seeing an actual human face in there instead of like a digital animated character would probably be a little bit more relatable and see maybe have some more emotions tied to this character as well with the Master Chief. And from what we heard from the dialogue of this, it sounds like that Cortana's purpose is to kind of keep Master Chief in line for the most part, but I don't really ever remember that coming throughout the Halo lore, more just kind of a campaign to help out Master Chief, rather than kind of like make sure Chief doesn't go off the rails. Here we get our first glimpse of Dr. Miranda Keys. Yes, it's not Captain Keys like we had in Halo 2 and 3. She Her role's been changed from like a chip captain of sorts to now a, an actual doctor, kind of falling in long the lines of Dr. Halsey. Since she is the child of Halsey and Jacob Keys. It sounds like this time she actually decided to follow along the steps of her mother and become a scientist doctor, which is a role change from the original games. How her role will play out differently within the Halo show? Well, we'll just have to wait and see. 
This character is a new character to the show and looking to be probably one of the main villains to the show as well, which is McKee. She was a young orphaned child who actually was ended up being like adopted by the Covenant and falls in line with the views of the Covenant of the contempt of humanity. So it'd be quite interesting to get any kind of backstory to this character because from what we know about the Covenant, they just kind of hate humans and want to see them all melted away. But why save her? That's very interesting. We'll have to get into that when the show finally releases. Now this image here is very exciting. This is an image of the original three prophets that you guys might remember from Halo 2 and 3 and also showcasing a elite down here listening to these prophets. Now probably your first reaction is, oh my god, the Arbiter's in the show, which I don't believe so because in the show notes on IMDB, which is obviously fan credits so not concrete facts, the Arbiter isn't mentioned at all within the credits, so I don't think that's this case. The show does take place before the events of Halo Combat Evolved, and so this most likely isn't the Arbiter, but a previous type of Arbiter, possibly. But not the one that we've come to know and love. This scene gives me hope that it showcases some kind of insight to the Covenant and their beliefs and why they're doing the things that they do, rather than just being kind of like a one-sided story like we had in CE. This might have more of a dichotomy, which we had with like Halo 2. The scene right here with McKee walking around, looking like there's like Logola worms, which are the worms that make up the hunters, taking over these humans. Um, that's my assumption, at least. We don't really know exactly, but that's what it's kind of looking like. I know if people's first reaction might be, oh my God, the flood, and I don't think that's the case. And here we get to see our full squad in action. The team of four with the Master Chief, looking pretty awesome. An interesting shot here with Quan Ah, our second lead that's gonna be following around with Master Chief, and also Soren 066. You can see Soren actually has a bit of Spartan armor on him as well, which he did go through the augmentations and to the Halo lore, he was actually disfigured from this and couldn't actually wear his armor set properly. And so he was just regulated to a desk job. We'll have more about Soren in future videos. But you actually kind of see him, it might not fit him exactly right. So this might actually would be part of the lore that that's Soren is a failed Spartan relegated to a desk job. And this shot right here showcasing the audio of like stopping the Halo ring from going off. So the Halo rings are going to be involved with the TV show, which is crazy exciting. I'm very happy about that. And we finally have the release date of March 24th. This was kind of what I would expect the release date to be originally from the Halo TV show streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Now we have future videos coming about this breakdown as well, more specifics about the lore behind a lot of the new characters that we're seeing as well from the show. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep yourself up to date. If you're new to the channel and you miss any content from me recently, check out my Halo news and informational videos right here. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.